we are on a new job today in South Shields. We will be taking this wall down, the path inside the property here. This wall comes down and this wall comes down. Today we're going to take these down. We've got a grab arranged late afternoon. He's going to come, he's going to collect all of this. Once we take up this path in here, we're going to put this wall on top of there. Our grab man, Barry, we're going to see if we can get some cars moved. We're going to cone that area off so Barry can come in and just grab it straight onto the wagon. We've been instructed by the client, this wall is stain, so it's tied in here. We're going to have to cut this up there and screw tie into that wall. So that's one thing we need to bear in mind. It's very windy today. We don't know how much recording we're going to get done, but we're going to crack on for now. And we'll catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> Right then, we came or finished wheel coat all the time. We're lashing down the grain now, but we've done what we needed to do. We've got the road, uh, the pavement clean, free from any hazards for the public. Public footpath, pull the area off. This is the pavement, we'll go behind it. Um, tomorrow, we're going to see what the weather's like. Uh, it's a bit of an annoying forecast, so we'll see how it plays out. We didn't get this done because we couldn't put this. So we're going to get the extension unplugged now before we forget. We're going to get our sun pool, get our sun dry, and catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, I'm Ben Keel, just came to South Town Building Supplies today in South Shields, Fordbury Street. Um, we're going to like millions of bricks in here. We're going to see the forklift driver now, he's going to put one pack of bricks on the van forward. Let's go. Bradfield Mullies from Wienerberger get back to the job we'll get these unloaded we're going to start setting out this little garden wall if you need the bricks you're in South Shields area or North East they do go quite a distance to uh, get the gear here um, for a very reasonable price as well for your delivery South Shields South Time Building Supplies Portberry Street see one of the lads let's go setting up this morning and it's quite slow the found we're just going off the existing found here and it's all over the place so we've had the laser checking we are running a big bed from here down to about a 30 mil cut on the far side there so we've not really been recording very much because we just want to get cracking because we're expecting some bad weather and We've got two tubs of muck there and we just want to get rid of them, don't we? So, I thrash on a bit and we'll catch up with you in a little bit.
right. Me and Keegan are finished for today. Just going to do this recording because we need to clean this path and by the time we've done that, it's going to be too dark to video. So, today we have been to South Tyne Building Supplies on Portberry Street in South Shields to collect our bricks. Bit of a late start by the time we've picked our bricks up and what have you. We had bad weather, it started to sleet, it started to hammer down with snow and it started to rain. But we stayed, we carried on, we've done pretty well. Tomorrow we have got two cores on the outer skin of this wall and five cores on the inner skin. We're going to have brick on edge come right across. There is a pillar cap to go on there, but we're not going to put them on until last. Once we've finished that wall, we're going to jump on here, get this wall set up wherever it's going, get that built up. There is a wall going in here, so we'll see what time we are on tomorrow. I'm guessing it's going to be a slow day again. Got a bit of a mixed forecast, so yeah, still on. <laughs> um, bit of a mixed forecast, so see what we get on. If we've got time, we'll dig this out, we'll concrete that. We'll also speak with Barry, we'll get Barry Nunn back, take our rubbish away here, drop some uh, Type 1 MOT stone here. We're going to get this tidy, we're going to get away, so we'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye for now. Wednesday morning. We've just left South Tyne building supplies. We got 500 bricks yesterday. Just came to collect the other 200. Chris just banged them in. He has the other lad coming up. Give him a quick wave. Hello. Come on the camera. It is 20 past 10. We've got two degrees here. It was freezing last night. It's a good job that we wrapped up our brickwork with um, Hessian. I did go back to the job later on in the night because I looked at the forecast had changed and it got a bit colder. It said like through the morning about minus four. I went back and double wrapped the whole more. Now we're going back there and we'll see what we can do. Catch up with you and we'll get there in a bit. We've been busy this morning. We'll put five on the back, two on the front. Ready now to run this brick and edge through. Barry's been, he's took away our rubbish, put some dolly down for her. Now, what we're gonna do is set up our line for the brick and edge. And how we do that, we're gonna use four corner blocks to lift our line here. Now, if we get 10 mil, 10 mil bed for your brick and edge, we then, if I can get this hitch out, we turn it around this corner, tie our line, on our corner block here we're going to put another corner block that's all right just leave that loose there we'll put our corner block around 10 mil higher we'll get another corner block run our line down the back because we know that this brick edge on the end is level across that way just want to tingle that line out there so now when we are laying we just put our brick in which you'll see in the next video. And we'll lay front and back to the line. And that saves a lot of time having to lay six bricks to the line, leveling across, leveling them, and flushing them across the back.
We've got to finish the other wall on the front street. Sit out this. Just put this profile on, just on the bottom. Make sure it doesn't pull out because I'm finding these bricks, you know, because I haven't got holes in the bottom. They're like the. Where are we going on here? One. I've got one course and then a soldier course. Now, it did have a coping stone on the top and a coping stone on the top there. I think I might just keep it so it's in keeping with the new wall. And now this is only a single wall. This one's only a single wall. We're not building a nine inch um, at front, so we can't have a brick on edge. It's going to be a soldier course. So I think this is going to look better if we have a soldier course there. So one more course, a soldier course of bricks. That's going to look good. So I'll get this corner quickly flung up to the soldier height and then put it free hand it with a level, put it around. Got to square up this brick brickwork a little bit there. And yes, let's crack on because get late in the day. I want this up today and then tomorrow I want to dig this out, get that concrete poured in there, spread the dolly around a little bit. I'm not going to whack it yet because that wall's still going to be wet for a few days. Then we're going to go over to our next job, which is pointing job on the low top in South Shields where we will be using like mortar. All of that said, catch up with you in a little bit. spreading this dolly around here now set our heads. Finish the walls, set out the middle wall, and we've only put two coats of bricks on there because we dug it out, we concreted it, and we laid the bricks all in the same hour. <laughs> so we're not going to build any more there, we don't want to sink, we just want it set out. So now we're spreading this, we're setting our heights because we want any water in here to fall down towards the new wall and then down towards the gate and out onto the street. Set up our heights here. Now we want to transfer this down. So we've got 10 mil here. Down, 20 mil there. So we've got a nice fall there now. You can see that it runs down from the top corner. We're pretty much at the top of the brick in the corner and we run down halfway through the brick here. So that's our fall. Back at Southside Building Supplies, getting another 90 bricks for the middle wall, the curbs for the step up from the street to the path. We're going to go back, we're going to get these laid now, and that's going to give us a better level to work with for the dolly. It's waiting for Chris to come around with the forklift, we're going to get six bags of soft sand for the brickwork. That sounds like Chris coming right now. Right, we'll get these in, and then we will get away in. Back at the uh, Gordon Wardrobe, where yesterday we dug this out, concreted it, and set it out with two cores of bricks. Today we're just going to race it up to this height, same as that. What we're going to talk about is how we've set this wall up just for speed. I've got one profile for our line. Just plumb it up this way, so plumb it up this way because there's no brickwork that can't do. We've got a clamp in the top, which is on this clamp here. We've clamped the profile to that. Took it up to the top and clamped it to the porch canopy. So that is holding this side plumb. And then to keep this side held plumb, we've got another profile on this side, which we've clamped to this profile, just using F clamp. Run it down here, we'll plumb that profile up um, on that side, and then just weigh it down with bio cement and for the front of the pillar. Um, we've just set that to one brick width, put it up here, and then again, just put an F clamp across on our brace from there. And that's this whole front corner set up. I'll stuck one up on the back here. I've got a Dutch pin just holding this to stop it moving. So, window fitters, packer, uh, glazing packers, behind the profile, just to get this side plumb. I'm not worried about it being plumb down here because we just lay that brick once I let it clean lifted. And then again, I've just used a clamp to clamp it in place. So that there took five minutes to set that up and it saved loads of messing around 
anyway we are very busy so we're going to crack on and we'll catch up with you in a little bit Back on site, had a busy morning, quite unproductive, been absolutely lashing down, now it's blazing. I don't know what's going on, it was the same yesterday when we were in Ashton finishing off the extension that we built on top of the garage for David Nicholas. Go and have a look on our YouTube channel, you'll see the full video in there at some point, if not already. But we've been away, we collected our sharp sand, which we put down on top of our dolomite sub-base, type 1 MOT sub-base, that gets compact. Sharp sand goes down, we screed it out to the levels that we want. So we've, we've got the level dropping towards the wall and dropping down this way. So any water is going to come out of here and not lie inside of the property. So we've got that done now, that's all screeded. We're going to take this machine and get this all whacked down, give it a couple of passes with that. We can then get these edgings. We're going to use these block pavings. It's a 50 mil natural gray block paving that we are going to use on the border all the way around this um, and it's going to be filled with charcoal block pavement which we've got in the van which I've just been to pick up. So all of that said we're going to crack on with this now get this turned on get this whacked because we have got about three hours to try and catch up on so we'll catch up with you in a little bit. We are finished at South Shields where we took down this garden wall and rebuilt it. We took up that path, concrete path, and put a new block paving path in. We took down this wall and this wall. We rebuilt them using these Bradfield multi bricks, which I got from South Tyne Building Supplies in South Shields. Um, I also got these Armstrong charcoal paving from South Tyne Building Supplies as well. So yes, overall, I'm really buzzing with this job. It looks really nice. These bricks are really beautiful. I really like them. It's a nice finish, nice job. Got a nice little step up from the street into the customer's yard. Neighbors are really happy, all done. Now we are going over to our pointing job where we'll be using lime mortar on the low top in South Shields. We're going there now, we're gonna start cleaning some of the brickwork down before we grind it out. Somebody's tried to remove paint, there's something left on the brickwork and we need to clean that off and then rake it out. So we'll catch up with you all in a little bit when we get there. I hope you like this video. If you do like the video, like it, subscribe, leave us a comment down there below and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye for now.